Hello everyone, I'm Kerry Lou and welcome to Silver Style Studio. It seems everyone is looking for the fastest makeup application possible. We want to look our best without giving up a lot of our valuable time, right? Today I want to show you a quick and natural makeup look that can be done in about five minutes. I'll be using the Essential 8 collection from Trestique. Trestique are not paying me to make this video, but they did send me this Essential 8 collection to try. I hope you know that I only show you products that I personally test and like. The product information and links are in the video description below, as well as a special discount code for my viewers. Trustique's philosophy is that makeup should not be a burden. It should be quick, simple and natural looking. These products are super compact, light and designed for ease of use. I just love that there's a little makeup tool at the end of each item. Plus, they're made in Italy. And personally, I think that everything that comes out of Italy is very elegant and classy. Now, notice that I said this can be done in five minutes. I've seen makeup bloggers doing demonstrations for Trestique in five minutes. I try to do mine as fast as I can, but it usually takes me eight minutes to be honest, which is still pretty quick for me. Even though I'm a professional makeup artist, I must confess I'm a bit on the slow side actually, as anyone who's ever hired me can attest to, but um, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I tend to just keep blending and adjusting until I'm happy. So let me show you the Essential 8. This is what you get in this kit. One tinted face stick, which has a blender sponge on the end. This is your concealer crayon. It has a little sponge applicator on the end also. Next, here's the cheek stick. There's a brush hiding in here. And here's my eyeshadow crayon. Again, a nice little applicator brush in the handle. This is my brow pencil. And check this out. There's a brow mascara on the other end. Isn't that nifty? This is the eyeliner pencil. It has a sharpener and a blender brush on the end. And here's the mascara. Now, you may be thinking this is a little big for a mascara. And that's because it actually has a built-in lash curler on the end. Genius! Last but not least, the lip crayon. This one's called Florence Fig. I decided on a neutral shade since this was a quick everyday look. Now check this out. There's lip balm in the end. I know, very clever, right? They have a selection of these pretty and practical containers to keep all your items in. They come in different colors and prints. I have these too. Look, there's even a mirror in the lid so that you can do your makeup on the go. I love that they're made out of recycled plastic bottles. Okay, so let's see how long this application takes. This is going to be in real time. So you're going to see me fumbling around a lot. <laughs> okay, on my marks, get set, go. <laughs> I'm going to start with the tinted face stick and I'm going to hit all the areas that I need the most help. So around my nose area, around my lips, on my rosacea. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I'll be able to do this in five minutes. I'm a little slow. Okay, I'm going to use my fingers some of the time. Although it does come with um, a little sponge at the end. Let me see if I can open this right. Yes, that's an applicator sponge. So you can use that. Or if you like to use your fingers, go ahead and use your fingers. That's what I'm going to do. Make sure it's all blended in. This is why my makeup takes me so long to put on. I'm a stickler for blending. I hate to see anything that's not blended right. Next. 
concealer, the concealer crayon. So I'm just going to stroke this under my eyes. You know, I did actually expect both the foundation stick and this concealer stick to be a bit more dry and stick-like. But it actually goes on nice and creamy, so that's good. A little bit under this eye. Again, I like to start where I need the most help, which is in the corner here. And then if you just kind of feather it out, uh, it doesn't crinkle when you smile as much. Oh, and again, I keep forgetting to show you, I'm using my fingers all the time. Every tool comes, I'm sorry, every item comes with the tool on the end. I like to get in here a little bit because I tend to get dark on the inside of my eyes. Oh, how am I doing for time? I feel like I'm really taking a long time. I've seen ads for Tracy where people take five minutes, but I don't know if I'm going to do this in five minutes to tell you the truth. With my little age spot. I think it's because I'm too much of a perfectionist. Okay, moving right along, the blush stick. This color is Moroccan Rose. So I'm just putting it on the apples of my cheeks. Don't worry, I'm going to blend it in. <laughs> I won't leave it like this. So I just kind of sweep it upwards. Doing this real quick. And you can always correct this kind of thing after. You can either add or blend it out after you're finished. If your blush looks a little bit too strong, just go back to it with a little sponge. This does also come uh, with a brush on the end, like this. But I prefer to use my fingers with a creamy blush. Okay, the tops are magnetic too. That's good, so you don't lose them. Next, eyebrows. Okay, here we go. All right. So I'm just going to fill in the areas where I need them. Just give them a little shaping. This color is called uh, Americano. Just extend the tail a little bit. Oops, went a little too crazy there. That's what happens when you're moving fast. Okay. There we go. And surprise, surprise, there's brow mascara in the end. Now I do like that. I think that's one of my favorite things about the Tracy collection. It's the little hidden tools in the end of each item. That really helps cut down on the things you lug around. So I have a quick question for you. Um, if you were traveling away for an overnighter or for the weekend, how many makeup items would you take with you? Um, let me know in the comments below and let's see what everybody says. I think I usually take, on a trip, probably about 10 items. Although if I had this kit, I would take eight. Anyway, I better stop talking. I have to carry on with this. Okay, I'm going to go for the eyeshadow. I think I'm already past five minutes. That's because I'm talking to you though. I think I should get a little bit longer. Okay, this is an eyeshadow brush. This is a nice neutral color. And it's creamy, but it's not greasy because I've tried it before. I've, I've done this look about twice so far. This little brush is good, actually. I really like it. I like this color. This color is good for a lot of people. I think this would suit almost anybody. What's next? Eyeliner, of course. Now, this is a nice eyeliner. It really glides on well. It's, it's a very dark brown. It's not a black today. 
put the lid back on and I'll show you the end. So in the end, there's a very small sponge-like applicator and there's also a sharpener. I'm not going to show you that right now because I'll run out of time and I'm trying to time this. I'm getting it really close to the lashes. If you have any like bald spots in your lashes, you can put the liner there too. Just kind of wiggle it into your lash line. It'll make your lashes look nice and thick. Use my finger a little bit. Getting there. Oh, I forgot to do something. Uh, I'm going back to the eyeshadow for just a second because I'm going to use it as a liner underneath my eyes. See, this is what I mean by taking too much time, I'm too picky. And I'm going back to my liner smudger, giving it a little liner. Okay, now the next item is really interesting. This is the mascara. Now, you may be thinking that looks really big for mascara. And you're right, it does look big if it was just mascara, but ta-da! This is an eyelash curler. Now, first of all, when I opened this, I was like, how do I use this? And truthfully, it does feel a little bit awkward at first, but I did eventually get the hang of it after a couple of tries. You see, it's not like your regular lash curler. So it needs a little bit of practice, but I think it's worthwhile. Um, just so you don't have to lug around a lot of items. It's kind of hard doing this and talking to you. I feel like I'm going to put my eye out if I'm not careful. Okay. Like so. This little bit is silicone so it doesn't stick to your eyelashes. Let's close that and now... Uh, see I'm getting used to this stuff too. But once you've done it a few times, you realize where everything is. The mascara is a regular formula, meaning it's uh, not waterproof. Give it a little wiggle wiggle. Okay, it, it's really nice though. So it's lengthening. Um, it doesn't have too many fibers, which is good for us contact wearing ladies. And look, I think it's quite good. That's just one coat. I suppose I should only do one coat for this demonstration to move me on my way. Okay. On the home stretch. Okay. Last but not least, the lipstick. Um, this is a lip crayon and I chose a very uh, neutral shade but I'll start talking while I'm doing this. Fill it in a little bit. I like to use my finger. Now, this is a matte shade. They do come in a nice uh, glaze too. So if you don't like mattes, you can choose a glaze. However, there is a lip balm at the end of it. So if your lips feel dry or you want a little bit of a sheen, go ahead and put on a little balm. You can touch that up throughout the day. So another nifty little thing there. And I do believe we're done. So what do you think? Not bad. Let's see how long that took. So I think this took about seven minutes, not including when I was talking to you, because I know sometimes I can talk too much. But ordinarily, I think this would probably take me about 10 minutes, because I like to kind of sit and enjoy doing my makeup, but that's still pretty quick, I think. Some of my viewers have expressed concern about ordering makeup online, because they may not get the colors that are right for their skin tone. So here's what Tristique offers to solve that problem. If you send them photos of yourself, they will actually help you choose shades that are perfect for your skin tone. You have to make sure that your selfie is taken in good light though, 
by a window is good, have the light shining on you and don't wear any makeup. They even offer a free video chat consultation. For more details, you can visit their website. The details are in this video description below. My takeaway is that this little makeup kit is very well thought out and really well made. So let me know what you think of this look and also this makeup concept in general. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you hit that bell, you'll be notified when I have a new video. So that's it from me for now and I'll see you next time. Bye!